Hi there and welcome back to Finch of Cooking. In the last video I showed you how to make a fresh basil pesto and today we're going to use it to make a super delicious Italian caprese grilled cheese sandwich. The ingredients are simple and I will have the full list and measurements in the description of the video. So here are my ingredients. I'm using fresh mozzarella, tomato, my homemade pesto, some nice salted butter, and sourdough bread. Mine is gluten-free, but you can use any good quality sourdough or white bread. I'm laying out the two breads in this way for a reason. I want to butter the outside of the sandwich, and the two breads have to match up as we fry them. Use temperature room butter for easier spreading. Flip over your bread and the inside of the sandwich will get a nice layer of pesto. I'm going to use about one tablespoon per side. We're going to thinly slice our tomato and cover one side of the sandwich with tomatoes. Try to get a good quality fresh tomato for this. Cover your tomato slices with thinly sliced fresh mozzarella cheese. Mine came pre-sliced, but that's usually not the case, so try to slice it on a thinner side. If you slice the cheese too thick, it might not melt all the way through as we fry the sandwich. Now our sandwich is ready for frying. When it comes to making grilled cheese, everybody has their favorite method. Here is mine. I start with a cold, non-stick pan and put it on low flame. Close the lid and this way as the pan heats up the cheese has enough time to melt and the bread doesn't burn. This is a thicker sliced cheese so it takes about 5 to 10 minutes for the bottom to get golden and for the cheese to start melting. Mine has been cooking for about 8 minutes. The cheese is melty and the bottom has a beautiful golden color. So now we're gonna close the lid again and let it cook for probably another five minutes. Be aware that this time it will cook faster because our pan is hotter. The sandwich came out just perfect and I am ready to enjoy my lunch. Thank you so much for watching and let me know below what you think about this recipe. Thank you.